the query which I have received from one of my student that what do we mean by averaging operation of a capacitor and what does this line means the rate of change of this average value is related to the message frequency and the magnitude of the change to the depth of modulation at the generator and all these things are related with zero crossing detection in FM demodulator. So, I am going to solve this query with one another preparation that actually first we have to know, we must know what is capacitor. Okay. So, from the de de defining equation of capacitor, the current through the capacitor is equal to the integral of the voltage across it. How? Let us watch. The capacitor is a charge storage device and the total charge stored in the capacitor is equal to Cv. C is the capacitance of the capacitor and V is the voltage across the capacitor. Voltage source connected across the capacitor. Okay. So, according to the this equation, as we know that current is the rate of flow of charges per unit time. So, dq by dt, this is i. So, it is becoming i is equal to, i is equal to c dv by dt, this one. And what is i here? i is the instantaneous current through the capacitor. I is instantaneous current through the capacitor. Instantaneous current means at an instant. At the instant. This is the current through the capacitor. Okay. Now, this, it means that if for a specific time period, for a specific, maybe it's, it is a microsecond, maybe it is millisecond, but if it is having some duration of time, then the current will be known as constant current or average current. Okay. For a specific period of time. The current across the capacitor is known as constant current or average current for a specific period of time. Now, since I is equal to dv by dt just we have seen here i is equal to i is directly proportional to dv by dt so for this is this is for one instant so if we have to take the complete value uh, uh, for a specific period of time so what we have to do we have to integrate this value we have to integrate this value for that particular period of time and as we know that integration as we know that integration is actually actually averaging whenever we take the integration if the uh, value if the physical quantity if the physical quantity is time varying quantity and According to the time change, there is a vast change in the particular value. So, here it is an instantaneous current. Then if we are taking the integration over a specified time period, then for that specified time period, an integral amounts to averaging. Okay. And we can get the average of a signal by applying it across a capacitor and then measuring the current through the capacitor. So, this is the theoretical concept of capacitor which says that, which says that instantaneous current across the capacitor is de dependent on the value of rate of change of voltage with respect to time. But a specific period of time the capacitor will provide average of a signal. Now, this is the theoretical concept. 
how it have to be proved practically so for that proof i have taken i have researched it only on the internet and with this research paper which i have uh, found out in the internet what i found to know why what i got, got to know that see here once a switch is turned on the equivalent that the, the, the these are the uh, screenshots which i have collected from the this particular research paper and what i have uh, i came to know that if if we are using this circuitry exactly uh, whenever we are taking the output across the capacitor and if this is low pass filter low pass filter means high pass signals are directly grounded high pass, high frequency signals are directly grounded and at this point we are receiving only the low frequency signal okay and in the case of zero crossing detector in the case of zero crossing detector as i have discussed earlier what is the input to the capacitor these pulses of constant width but the pulse width is constant but the timing the switching period is not constant here the switching is, is very fast but here from this period to this period the switching is slower so if the capacitor is receiving such type of pulses at the input so what will be the output so i am showing you this paper that this paper that if once a switch is turned on switch is turned on means in the input if the switch pulse is received by the switching action only so once a switch is turned on the equivalent capacitor will start charging by a positive or negative spike since uh, the pulse generator is generating only the positive pulses because we have rectified the negative spikes and converted into positive pulses so in our case in the case of zero crossing detector which we have discussed earlier what what is that we are generating only the positive pulses okay so once the switch is turned on the equivalent capacitor equivalent capacitor means uh, is they, if whatever be the complete circuitry for low pass filter this is the equivalent circuit okay across in which the output is taken across this point the output is taken across this point okay so here here what you are watching that depending on the relationship between the duration t and what is this duration ti and the time constant rici this ti is switching time we missed the on time on time of switch and this constant is rc constant which is known as time constant so there are three conditions if the on period is far greater than rc then charging will be completed within this this, this one this one this first one this first graph if the if the switch on time period is greater than the time constant of the capacitor then the capacitor will give output as a spike this is the current current this is the graph of current versus time so immediately it will charge and then it will discharge okay so this much is the time on time but for this on time we are receiving the spikes uh, as a current okay the second case the second case is that if the if the on time is approximately equal to time constant rc okay then the charging will be partial like this the charging will be partial but the third case third case see here but the third case if the time period is very much lesser it is very little of little 
टाइम ड्यूरेशन कंपेयर टू टाइम कॉन्स्टेंट आर सी देन देयर विल बी नो इफेक्टिव चार्जिंग एंड द करेंट विल बी पर्टिकुलरली कॉन्स्टेंट एंड दिस इज द थर्ड ग्राफ वेन देयर इज नो चार्जिंग एंड द कैपेसिटर इज प्रोवाइडिंग द आउटपुट एज अ कॉन्स्टेंट करेंट नाउ दिस इज नॉट द जनरल केस ऑफ कैपेसिटर दिस इज द केस वेन द कैपेसिटर हियर in when the capacitor this is the equivalent circuit for the low pass filter and if this capacitor is receiving the pulses at the input okay at the, the and the turn on time is far smaller than the than the time constant of the capacitor then there will be no effective charging and the current will be particularly constant okay so based on these results based on this result based on this result an average circuit can be constructed reflecting the average behavior of the relevant circuit at this point it is important to emphasize the difference between the circuit of figure 4 which is here this one which represent the momentary current it here this current is momentary instantaneous current and the average circuit of figure 5 which represent average voltage and current average over the full switching cycle full switching cycle means for one time period for one time period this will provide the average value of current as well as voltage so with this proof i am telling you that now you will be able to understand that how the last block of zero crossing detector which is uh, in which the pulses of various frequencies are passing through the low pass filter so what actually happens what actually happens that according to the frequency according to the frequency where the frequencies are greater means there the time period is very lesser this is the switching period is very small very small switching period is turning on and off turning on and off turning on and off so during this period according to this uh, amount of value the magnitude of the cap uh, magnitude across the capacitor of current is varying according to the frequency of the pulse modulated signal okay if frequency is greater so here the amount will be greater and if the frequency is smaller the frequency is smaller then actually all these average values are connected together because these pulses are also have very higher uh, higher frequencies pulses okay that's why all th th this is the graph you are not able to watch that smooth graph this is uh, integrated values of the current which is uh, joined together and we are getting this type of graph this type of graph so what we are watching that for higher frequency uh, modulated pulses we are getting the output as a higher value and where the uh, frequencies are very lesser there we are getting the values lesser so actually these are the average value every time if it is decreasing its frequency since we know that frequency modulated signal is actually uh, in amplitude it is same amplitude but the frequency is continuously varying so what is happening at the output of zero crossing detector we are getting the exact replica of message signal means when the message signal was greater at that time the frequency of the modulated signal were greater so here just opposite process is um, happening in the demodulator where the frequencies are greater there the magnitude of the capacitor is greater and as the frequencies are slowing down so the capacitor with the averaging action means if the value is slowing down then the, for each pulses the value the average value is slower down the average value is slower down 
and in this way the exact replica of the message signal we got.